Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. In this video, I will work with uh, migrations and models. I'm going to create models and migrations for our project. And as you can see uh, here, I have opened the TMDB website because almost all the tutorials of the Netflix clone is working, is going to work with this TMDB API. So you can go and create a new account here and fetch the data of the movies or the TV shows from here and then display in your project but I'm going to create my database store movies there uh, TV shows and work with our database not with this database okay so for that let's open the terminal and create one by one the models and migrations and I'm going to say artisan make a model and the first one is going to be the movie and also we're going to create the migration for that hit enter next one is going to be uh, the Siri migration next is going to be the episode because the series is going to be it's going to have episodes so we're going to say episode here the next one is going to be the genre because movies is going to be long to the genre so let's say the genre here and uh, also I'm going to create uh, a category because I'm going to group some movies together so we can create for example uh, movies to watch on weekend or something like that so let's say make model category and uh, I think we are okay now I'm going to also work with the favorites so the we can add movies and also uh, TV shows the favorites and then we can list all the four favorites we have for that I'm going to use a package and I have opened here the package if you go I haven't worked with this I just searched and I found this one which has 400 stars and yes is uh, the last commit is two months ago so I think we are okay here Okay, so I'm going to open now the project with VS Code. So let's say code dot and I'm going to open one by one the migrations. I have opened the light mode here. So let's say uh, movies migration and I'm going to start. What we need for movies? We need the title first. So I'm going to say not name but title. Next, we need the slug, which the slug is going to be unique. Okay. After the title, we need also not string, I'm going to say table and make this text. Not for description, I'm going to name it an overview. You can name a description, it's no problem. Okay, next, I want. Uh, don't assign table string for the poster path and I don't want this to be a no, a no label all the movies I want to have a poster so I'm going to leave it like this next I'm going to create a backdrop path and this one let's leave it a no label no problem okay so we have all of them I'm going to create also one for the trailer URL which also this one I don't want to make a no label so URL like this and I'm going to copy and paste this one to be not trailer URL but it's going to be a video URL okay also we need the video url here and the last one i'm going to add dollar sign table which is going to be integer and this one is going to be not runtime but i'm going to name it view count okay view count and default and i'm going to say default to be zero 
and I think we are okay. Yeah, let's just fix this indentation here. So we have title slug overview, we have a poster path and backdrop path, a trailer URL, the video URL and the view count. And yeah, also we need to add here the release date. So let's say the assign table. Uh, well, this is going to be a date. And yeah, let's say release date and I think we are okay. Let's save and I'm going to copy here the title, the slug, overview and the poster path. I think we have here the backdrop path, I don't know, and the release date. Yeah, I'm going to copy all of them and let's open the series migration and I'm going to paste it right here. So also for the series we need the title slug overview, a poster, backdrop and the release date. Next I'm going to open the episode, episodes uh, migration and also for the episodes we need the title slug overview. I think we have here also a poster path. I don't think we have a backdrop path but let's leave it. The release date and let's go and also copy the trailer and the video URL and also the view count. I'm going to paste it so that here. Now I'm going to open the genres migration for the genres what we need only the name and the slug. I'm going to add Okay, then let's close, cancel while we have this release date. I'm going to save, close this one. Let's open the categories migration and for categories, I'm going to add a name and a slug. And also here, the slug is going to be unique. And I think we are okay. Let me just see one more time. So in the database, we created the migrations. And yeah, movies, series, episodes, genres, and categories. Okay, close this. And now I'm going to install this package. So let's copy this command, paste it here. Okay. Next is the run the PHP Artisan Vendor Publish. Copy and paste it also at that one. And we can use like this so on the user. We need to add use favoriter. So let's do that. Let's open the user model. And let's say here use the favoriter. Okay. And then for example, here we have an example with post, but on the movies we can say use favorite table and let's do that. Let's close this and let's open the movie model and let's say use the favorite table. I'm going to do the same thing. So let's save and let's do the same thing on the series as well. So let's use favorite table like this. And then, yeah, we can use like this. Uh, get favorite items, pass in the post, yeah. Okay, that's it all about this video, friends, what I wanted to show you. Now, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends, and see you in the next one. All the best, thank you very much.